There's no hacks, bro. It's you against you. You against you. And if you misunderstand that, you have a real problem. I just beat me. This ain't about nobody else. I don't, I don't care about anybody else. I have no worry or gripe about the next man or woman's journey or 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 their level of success that's not what i'm what i'm up against if i can continue to outdo me from the day before then i'm then i'm ahead in the battle you find peace when you go to war with yourself you find a lot of peace because you know exactly who you are and that is where the peace is really found for me no one's coming no one's coming to push you no one's coming to tell you to turn the tv off no one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. Unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. You're just not. The more you can ignore your feelings and simply do what is required, the more you're gonna see the results that you're looking for. One of my favorite internal dialogues that I've picked up from someone else is that whenever I have a hard task ahead of me or whenever I need to do something that I don't feel like doing, I simply just repeat over and over to myself, I will do what is required. There's no negotiation inside my head, there's no questioning, there's no, I'll do this later. It's just, I will do what is required for me to be successful at the thing I want to be successful at. And that's it. You will stay stuck in your position until you learn all of the lessons that being stuck in that position has to teach you. But the reason why most people don't ever get out of being stuck and they live the same life for most of their life is because they fail to get to the first two words that is the first step to getting out of that, which is my fault. Taking responsibility for where you are. No matter how bad of a situation you're in, if your finger is pointed outwards towards other people to blame for your situation, you're gonna stay in the same place. If you wanna change, if you wanna get out of a, being stuck in a hole, you need to point that finger back at you and take responsibility for being in that position. Because I'll guarantee you, if you continue to blame others or external circumstances for where you're at right now, you will stay exactly where you're at right now. But until you realize the controllables that you do have a responsibility for and you can change that is when you can start to piece by piece brick by brick start to move forward and get yourself out of the position you're in right now and move towards somewhere where you want to be in the future you need to realize that the only one stopping you from doing what you want to do at the end of the day is yourself you're your biggest enemy most of the time and you are the one who needs to get out of your own head if you want to succeed because there's a moment where every boy realizes that nobody's coming to save them and that is when they turn into a man and if you want to level up if you want to grow if you want to become a better person build a business do really well or something whatever it is you need to realize that nobody's coming to do that for you nobody's going to come and tell you to get out of bed when you want to have a lay in nobody's going to tell you to get to the desk nobody's going to tell you to go to the gym nobody's going to tell you to do the business task it's down to you it's you versus you every single day and i want you to just remember that if you are lost right now, or you feel like you're just floating through life right now with no real direction, I want you to remember that if you knew what you were doing, you would be stagnating because you wouldn't be doing anything new. And if you're going to do something new, that is the catalyst for growth. So you cannot want to grow and know exactly what you're doing at the same time because the two contradict each other. So the point is you just need to get out there and take as many shots as possible, as many things as possible until you find the thing that you want to focus in on and dial in on. And the main mistake that most people make throughout their lives is that they want contradicting things. They want the easy life, yet they want the strong character. Yet one is the price of the other. You go through a hard life to develop a good character, and you go through a really easy life to develop a shitty character, because you get everything with ease. Nothing comes through hardship. Everything came easy. So most people want to grow, but don't want to go through hardship. Yet hardship, cultivates growth. They want both, but they will never know that they can't have both. It's wanting the shoes without wanting to pay the price. The price isn't bad or good, it is just the price. It is what it is. And so the question comes simply down to how badly do you want it? Because if you want it bad enough, you'll be willing to just pay the price. If not, and you don't really want the shoes that much, you just won't pay the price. And if you do want the shoes that bad, 
don't complain or resent the price tag because the price is the price. Just pay the price tag and you get the shoes. If not, you won't get the shoes. At the end of the day, no matter what anybody says, it's not about trying your best. It's about doing what is required in order to get the thing that matters most to you.